there comes a moment when you have to stop revving up the engine and shove it into gear. Hi, I'm Linda watson Call. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Dragonfly Soup. Over the past two years, I've spoken about the importance of planning. How, if you're going to reach your goal, you need to plan it out. Where do you start? What do you need? What help should you get? The list goes on and on. Then, we need to figure out the process. Maybe my goal is to open up a music studio. Hmm. I play the piano. And I want to teach piano play. Good start. Where should I locate my studio? Should I limit my studio to only teaching piano? I won't downplay it. There are a lot of decisions that have to be made if we want to open a business and be successful. Now, this doesn't only apply to somebody with business goals. It applies with personal goals, too. My friend decided she wanted to go into interior decorating. I thought it was a good fit for her. Her house is always attractive, and she could change the decor almost overnight. She wanted to check out several schools that she could go to, as well as some of the virtual academies. Doing her research is good, but after six months, she isn't even close to choosing a school. Will she ever enroll? Mm, probably not. She's stuck in planning, researching, deciding. Then, there's the head of the parks and rec in our town. Two years ago, the swings in one of the parks had to come down because they were unsafe. That was two years ago. At a recent meeting, someone asked, why aren't there any swings or any other play equipment in the park? This is the only park that this area has where parents could bring their children. It's taking two years? The answer, are you ready for this? It's still in the planning stage. Now, I know there are safety regulations surrounding playground equipment, and any good contractor should know them. How hard could it be to pick out a swing set, or a climber, or a slide? There are several creative designs out there. I see them all the time in other parts. And this Parks and Rec has a budget as well. What's the holdup? More planning? More research on selecting the right company? Stuck. Definitely stuck. David Mahoney, a business leader, philanthropist, and author said, there comes a moment when you have to stop revving up the car and shove it into gear. Revving up the car or revving up the engine did you ever hear that sound? Did you ever rev up an engine? It gives you a great sense of power, doesn't it? So does planning. When you're sitting at the computer or your table with a pen and paper, you are planning your life and maybe even the lives of others. You are in control. You have the power. And ultimately, it is all up to you to follow through. Often, Unfortunately, that's where it ends, in the planning. As long as you're in the planning stage, people have no idea if you're on page one or page 100. And as long as you don't share those plans, no one can criticize you and say it won't work. Now, take my music studio. If I say I'm going to open up a small studio in the city for young children and go to the details of my plan, better believe someone will explain why it won't work. You know, kids aren't into music today. Parents in the area won't sign them up. And the reasons why will continue on and on. If I said I would teach music virtually, yeah, I'd be laughed at. And then all the reasons why I shouldn't would come out. So what's the solution? Is there a solution? Well, first, Give yourself a planning limit, something like rough draft, revised draft, finished draft, done. Now, set yourself a time limit. I learned early on that when I set the goal and the steps I needed to take, if I didn't complete the first step in like a month, 
then it wasn't really a goal. It was just a wish. Now you might think that this kind of boxes you in, and in a sense it does, but it also gives you a sense of urgency. Also, recruit a silent partner, not someone who will do the work or help you with the work, but someone who will be more like a taskmaster. I have a goal partner, and we meet every two weeks. We listen, but we don't advise unless advice is requested. But we also point out when the other person is falling off the mark. The comment might be something like this. Now, you've been working on finding a contractor for over two weeks now. Did you actually talk to one? Maybe contractors were called, but no one is returning their phone calls. Or maybe no one was called for a number of reasons, for a location, for a website, not cute enough. By having someone to check in with, we are held accountable for accomplishing what we say we're going to do. Oh sure, we can make up excuses, but down deep, we know that we are not following through. And not following through is the major reason most people only dream about doing something and never see it through. So let me know, either in an email or a message, how you plan to put your goal into gear and get closer to achieving it. While you're at it, be sure to click like and share this episode with a friend. You might also want to check out our gift shops where you can purchase items like Dragonfly Soup t-shirts, hoodies, or other gifts. The link is below. Or you can show your support for this program by clicking this link. Any contribution to help continue this series is greatly appreciated. And I'll see you next week, right here on Dragonfly Soup. Here's to our transformation and our best year ever.